Hey, in this video, we're going to want we're going to talk about Moses Austin. But before we do that, we're going to kind of just real quickly review over some of the big events like the filibusters and um, Father Hidalgo and some in the movement for towards Mexican independence. So first off, if you'll remember, Philip Nolan was one of the, was the first filibuster we really talked about. Um, he's 1801. Um, he was from the United States. Um, he went to Texas with Spanish approval at first to catch like wild horses, to catch Mustangs and things like that. But they become suspicious of his activities and say, hey, you got to get out of Texas. Um, he, he does, but he comes back and he comes back ready to, you know, try to take over and, and set up uh, a, uh, you know, get some land basically and is killed um, by uh, the Spanish authorities for his, uh, his activities. And so he's kind of one of the earliest filibusters. Uh, this territory is you know, not widely populated at this time by either Spanish or Americans. The, the, it's most widely populated by Native Americans. The Father Hidalgo. So Father Hidalgo, he's known as, the, just as a review, he's known as the father of Mexican independence. Um, he is involved in the win, uh, the independence movement um, early on, but he, uh, even as early as like, even before 1810, uh, he's involved in these kind of activities, thinking about these things. Uh, he is, he gives the, the Grito de Dolores or the Cry of Dolores on September 16th, 1810. It's basically calling for revolution. That's the day that is um, celebrated as Mexican Independence Day. Um, and this really starts the Mexican Revolution against Spain. Um, it's not ultimately won yet, uh, but that is not that is the um, kind of the, the the point that Mexico and points to as hey, this is the beginning, and this is when it started. Much like our Declaration of Independence, we declare independence. And on July 4th, 1776, the war went th to win independence isn't over for many years after that. So um, he's also, you know, known as kind of the warrior priest. Uh, although, if you remember, his he was, um, he, you know, he wasn't necessarily really a a great tactical warrior. He he made some mistakes, um, and one of them very costly that uh, that may have really made things last, you know, stretched out this this war for independence many much longer than needed. Uh, with one of his major defeats. Uh, the Gutierrez McGee expedition. Uh, so Bernardo, Jose Bernardo Gutierrez was a follower of Father Hidalgo. Um, he hooks up with Lieutenant Augustus McGee, a former U.S. soldier. Um, they opposed Spanish rule and organized the Republic of North Texas, and they proclaimed Texas independent from Spain in 1812. Um, they had an army that is made up of Anglo-Americans, Native Americans, and Tejanos, people of Mexican descent, and ultimately they are defeated though and not successful um, so they are really a part of this uh, uh, independence movement in a sense uh, they're not necessarily thinking well we'll be able to successfully get all of mexico independent but maybe we can start with texas um, uh, the, their their movement is really defeated at the Battle of Medina in 1813. Although they're neither Gutierrez and, or McGee are, are really involved at, by this point, um, by, and so they lost miserably. So there was over 1,300 filibusters that are killed with only 55 Spanish deaths. But it encouraged other free tech, others to free, try to free Texas and Mexico from Spain. Uh, James Long uh, is led a group from Massachi Mississippi to Nacogdoches. He was upset about the adams onis Treaty, which gave basically Texas to Florida. Now, it didn't exactly give Texas. It settled what the, the, the border was. It said, okay, the United States gets Florida, and here's Texas is not part of the Louisiana Purchase. Um, when James Long felt like that was a mistake to do that, and so um, he too declares Texas independent from Spain. While looking for military support, he's captured, taken to Mexico City, and shot. So he declares independence, Texas independent as well, um, and it's the Republic of Texas, or sometimes it's known as the Long Republic, and that is the flag of that movement. So... In 1819, there's a panic 
the, an economic panic and uh, run on the banks, and there's the United States falls into economic depression. Well, Moses Austin is a part of that. He's pulled into that, and he's bankrupt in Missouri after many failed business attempts. And land in the United States is more expensive, and borrowing from, from the banks becomes more difficult. Uh, the banks are requiring uh, more. They're, they're not... They had been kind of loose with their money, giving out loans more easily, and now um, economic policy is making that stricter, and so they're having, they can't just give out loans as easily, and so all of a sudden now people don't have the money that they, that they once had available to them, and so this economic depression is deeper. Well, lots of people suffering during this time, they decide, you know what, maybe this is the time to, to move further west to get some other land. Well, Texas is out west, and Moses Austin comes up with this idea to get permission to help settle part of Texas. He's denied initially when he talks to the governor there, uh, and uh, but runs into uh, the Baron de Bastrop, who, with his help, then who's respected there in Texas um, says, you know what? No, we'll, we'll look into this. Um, ultimately, between the Baron de Bastrop and Moses Austin, they're able to get permission. And Moses Austin comes back to home, but his journey back was quite difficult, um, suffers a lot during that journey, and ultimately dies shortly after arriving back home in the United States. And passes out, basically passes on and then tell, but leaves a note or, you know, tells his wife or daughter, I can't remember which, um, hey, I need Stephen F. Austin to carry on. I need my son to to keep this uh, plan and, that I've set up and go settle Texas. And Stephen F. Austin wasn't really planning on doing it, but he does end up doing it.